All right, what's up? As you probably saw short, this is a video about safe state corruptions on the Dolphin emulator for GameCube and Wii Asses. Um, there's not much up-to-date up information on this method of corrupting. Um, there's some vague information scattered around, like uh, some videos that kind of apply to this but aren't specifically about Dolphin. Um, there's some, there's a corruption wiki that that vaguely touches upon this method of corrupting, and it's like it, it's it's just not amazing. So I had to figure out a lot of stuff myself, and it was kind of difficult. So I'm making a video so all the people can more easily corrupt. In case you know, I think GameCube ISOs or like GameCube corruptions are really good and some of the funniest ones. Um, so let's get right into it. Um, so you're going to want to navigate to two websites. Um, you have this website, which is a GitHub link for um, a special version of Dolphin that you're going to need, made by Nary G. Um, you're going to want to download the .zip version that looks about, not, not the source version, let's just say that. Um, source version is for like, it, it just doesn't apply to us, probably won't apply to you for these purposes. Um, if you're watching this video. So you're going to want to download that. Keep track of where you installed it so you can run it later. And you're going to want to come to this website right here. Uh, both of them will be linked, by the way. And you're going to scroll down and it's kind of hidden because it like blends in with everything. But this download link right here. Uh, you're going to want to download that. Once again, keep track of where you downloaded it so you can, um, or like installed it, I guess, so you can run it later. And, yeah, once you have installed those, you're going to want to find where you installed them. This is where I installed mine. And you want to run Dolphin, your special version of Dolphin. And when it first comes up, it's going to be a window like about this size or something. It um, doesn't matter what size it is. I made it smaller. It doesn't need to be that big for me. Um, and you're going to open. That is a corruption folder. <laughs> Um, you're going to open your ISO. So I'm doing Super Mario Sunshine, classic, classic GameCube game, and it really will work with anyone. Doesn't matter. I obviously can't link you; it's illegal. But if you can rip your own copy or get a copy by other methods, go ahead. You're going to need it. Has to be done in an emulator, by the way, obviously. So you want to open up your game. And while we're on this topic, I should mention that the tab key, by default, is the fast forward key on Dolphin emulator. Um, it, the default fast forward speed is slower than, I think it's slower than what you see right here. Um, so, you're, you're going to have to go into the settings if you want it to be as fast as it is here. So what you're going to want to do next is go back up to this window, go to emulation, save state, save state again. And you're going to want to make a new save state. You can name it whatever. I'm saving it over this um, thing right here because this is this is the one I made in a previous video attempt that I kind of failed. And you're going to want to press save. So also keep track of where you saved that. So you see you like um, save state, save state. I have it saved for this PC desktop, SMS, Super Mario Sunshine. And um, I saved it right here. You want to know where you saved that. It's important for later. After you're done, you can like move this to the side or whatever. Go back to to wherever, or go find wherever you installed RTC Real Time Corruptor and launch it. And you're gonna come, or a window like this is gonna pop up. Except this right here is gonna be blank for you. If this is your first time running it, um, I assume this is your first time running it. Um, what you're gonna want to do is come down here and download the latest version, unless it's like really far in the future and I haven't or somebody else hasn't made an updated, another updated version of how to corrupt uh, GameCube games, download 320 if that happens, otherwise just download the latest version, it'll probably be fine. Once it's downloaded, it'll appear up here too. You know, click on it up here, go over to where it says start, press start. You can tab out of that and a new window is about to pop up. Here we go. Uh, you'll have this window. When it first comes up, it's going to ask you for uh, firewall access. Just say yes. Um, it's not a virus or anything. Obviously, a lot of people use this because this is how people corrupt for GameCube games uh, for Vinny Fine Sauce's um, like corruption streams. You know, 
So all those people aren't complaining about having viruses. If that's what you're worried about, you shouldn't be worried about it. If I make some people worry about that, don't. Uh, you're going to want to come over here and start Windows Glitch Harvester by pressing this button. And this is uh, an important window to corruption. This is what actually corrupts the safe states itself. So first thing you're going to do when you're here is press this button right here that says Target Dolphin. And you want to make sure Dolphin is running to you first. Do this in this order. I found sometimes, not all the time, but sometimes when you don't do it in like the order I'm showing you guys of opening windows, not like settings. It kind of doesn't work sometimes, so yeah. Um, next, you want to go hit Browse right here, and that save state I told you to remember where you saved it, you're going to want to go find that and click on it, and then press open, and you'll see it's opened up here. That's good. Uh, next, you want to come down here and make sure this says Disable Caching on Current Target, which means caching on current target is enabled, and you want that enabled because when you are corrupting, it makes like the, the processing, I guess, of the corruptions happen faster. It like injects the corruptions faster. I don't know the specifics. I'm not like, I, I don't know the specifics. So we'll just say that. Um, after that, you're pro you might want to change the engine. It doesn't matter which engine you use. I'm fairly certain, but I always use a vector engine. I find it more reliable. And I always set these two values to negative 64 because that's what I saw on the corruption wiki of what it had. Once again, corruption wiki is vague. And if it's not already checked, you want to make sure Big Endian is checked. If it's not checked, um, well, I think I think this just needs to be checked to, to corrupt freaking Cuban Wii stuff. So next, you're going to want to come up here where it says Dolphin Mod Tools and click on that. And you get a new window. Uh, this window is pretty important too. Um, first thing you're going to do is press Start Netcore Server. And Netcore server, if you're corrupting using Target Dolphin, you need to have this running. I don't think it will corrupt. It will prompt you if you try corrupting without it open um, or running. And what it does is, you'll see you'll see this in action later, but it lets this window and this window communicate so that whenever you press Blast Target, which is what corrupts, it loads it, uh, save state this thing makes so... Um, you don't have to manually reload the save state to get your corruptions every time. Well, that might sound confusing, you'll see what it does later. Um, or on this window, um, most of this debug area you're not going to really use ever. Uh, I don't really know what these things do right here. Um, this, I'm not sure what it is either. Uh, it doesn't really matter. Uh, save state, uh, as of this version, I think save state is a little broken. Maybe I just don't understand it. but. It feels like whenever I press save state on this thing, um, it stops automatically loading states. You can press load state. Load state, you might want to press every now and then if you want to load the states. So, um, like I said before, this creates automatic save states, and we can actually uh, demonstrate that right now. Um, if I, like, move over here, we'll see if I press load state, the load back to the automatic save state it created. It created a safe state right here, obviously. And see, that's good. So, um, if it's not creating automatic save states, what you can do, you can press save state. You might have to restart everything. If this isn't working, you'll know if it's not working if you watch the full video. So, yeah. What we want to do now is we can actually start messing with these settings, which is what corrupts the game itself. Intensity, the suggested amount, I believe, for GameCube ISOs is between 75,000 and 200,000. Or no, 50,000 and 200,000. I'm going to be setting it to 75,000. And you might be thinking, well, that's barely anything on this bar. And, well, that's on purpose because this is the amount of bytes that are being corrupted. And if you're corrupting, like, half the game, well, then half the game isn't isn't like working properly it won't run unless like some freak accident or like coincidence or something you want to move down the starting address you want to put it above zero like a good amount like this uh because typically on unlike um game isos and just roms in general uh near the beginning is where 
information for the game to boot up properly is stored. So you just want to make sure you're not corrupting that, otherwise you 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 will crash your game. Blast range, I'm not fully sure what blast range does. I just set it randomly. It seems to affect corruptions. It's it's good. So now we have everything working here. We can now press plus target to do our corruptions. And you'll see, like I said before, um, the game automatically loaded some, or it automatically went back to the save state, so we don't have to manually go back to the save state and load it. And we can see we have some corruptions going on. Uh, for instance, uh, Toadsworth, his hand is gross. We have the <laughs> the water fountain from in the square going through that window, which is actually kind of funny. I haven't seen anything like I've seen similar things, but I haven't seen something like that. I saw a big blue dude. Or, oh, some birds. Oh, it's birds. The birds get really big for some reason. And when I first started this corruption, the music was also like kind of freaking out. Uh, we didn't get any like amazing corruptions. You probably won't get any amazing corruptions when you're corrupting only like 75,000. You might want to move up to like 100,000. Um, for, for some more extravagant, it's it's higher risk, higher reward. Because obviously the more bytes you corrupt, the greater risk you have of crashing. So, now, if you like a corruption you have. So let's say this was like some amazing corruption, which it's not. Oh, Peach is... How did I not notice this? Okay, anyways. So yeah, let's say this is some amazing corruption or cool corruption that we like. I'll go to emulation, save state, save state again, and I'm going to save it somewhere. Um, I'm going to save it over video corruption. Once again, I have a, failed, a few failed attempts of this video. Actually, I don't know if this is... If I already said this in this take, whatever. I have a few failed um, attempts at this video. I'm going to save it over this. You can name it whatever you want. It doesn't matter. These are some other... Um, Corruption saves I have, save states, you know, press save. And so what that has done is it has basically um, saved the state we are in because we were corrupting the save states themselves and not the game. Technically, you're still kind of corrupting the game in an indirect way. So we can see what I mean by this. If we go load, we can go back and load our original save state. You see nothing's corrupted, right? And that's good because then we can later corrupt the save state in a different way, which we can. I mean, if, if we just press blast harder again, it'll be corrupted in a different way, just so you can see. Um, so yeah. Because um, this, this stuff, even though you're at set, you're like at specific settings, it does have quite a bit of randomness to it. So, and then we can see that the corruption that we saved in here, if we open it, the corruption is still here. When we open the save state we had just saved while this corruption was running. Um, and you do not need any of these windows running for it to load, although you should keep in mind that this save state won't work on like a, a default version of Dolphin because it's the save state is made specifically for Nary's mod's version of Dolphin. You know, it might not work with future versions of this, although we'll see. I don't know. It depends on, on how many changes are made. If any more changes are ever going to be made. So next we're gonna we wanna look at um this is something that I don't usually mess with, but you can see that every time we corrupt, these are our two corruptions right here, they get stored in stash history. And this is a, kind of another way of saving corruptions, except you can inject them whenever you want. Um, it's kind of weird with this thing. Um, I'll demonstrate why. So we can save the specific like injection that we blasted from pressing blast target. We can save it as a video corruption again and then it saves here but that actually doesn't mean it's saved where you can ever load it again you actually have to go click save as and save it again as an actual file uh, corruption dot sks or sks files by the way so it's saved and what that basically means is we can come back load and load this in whenever we want 
different instances. And what we can do with this is when we click on this, we can come down and press inject selected items. And if we're basically pressing blast target again, see we got this corruption again. Um, now we can corrupt this anywhere in the game so we can get like similar corruptions and like let's say if we went to Bianca Hills except that with this running whenever we press inject selected item it will um, always reload the save state that we last saved so that's important to note um, if, if that makes sense to you th this isn't required at all for save states let's just say that you don't have to mess with this stuff I typically don't unless I get a really good corruption I want to try injecting somewhere else in the game usually it will actually crash um, from what I've seen from I haven't once again I, I don't mess with this a lot and I'm also not like a corruption expert by any means so yeah okay so that's basically it I am going to show you one uh, a corruption that's a lot better than what we got in these videos so I can show you like you get better corruptions um, so let's load this one you see this um, it starts off like that and it automatically for some reason enters the peach dialogue here because this is the first like Delfino Plaza area in the game so yeah it's, it's very odd and you die really easily in this save state. Also, you try zooming in and this happens. You see, this you can get really interesting corruptions. And boats are rocking a lot. And let me show you, it's actually very easy just to die. See, if you just walk into the red pipe, you die. Now fast forward a little bit. And it's actually different when you reload back in. So yeah, that's just me showing off a corruption, a good corruption I got, so you understand that it's not all, like, um, just stupid, like, using this method, it's not all just, like, stupid, like, hand corruptions, or a cup smart as hand or eye or something. You can get some interesting ones. So that, oh, okay, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, let me also remind you, I think I already said this, but... To get better corruptions like these, you typically are going to want to put the intensity to like 100,000 or higher, maybe even. Um, once again, the more bytes you're corrupting, the more of a risk you are taking with crashing your game. Um, you know, risk in air quotes. It's not much of a risk. Because it's not like, you're probably not going to corrupt your ISO in forever. I don't think it even directly affects ISO. If you're worried about that. But that's pretty much it. Um, I don't have any more to say. Thanks for watching. If you have any um, questions, if something isn't working for you, which I might make a separate video for how to corrupt if this isn't working properly, because there is kind of a different method you have to take if that isn't working properly. Well, if you follow the steps I took in this video, it probably will work. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, questions, leave them. Just tell, please don't be mean to me. This is my first video I am putting out, and yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Um.